Interview with Tony, take five, slate five. Tony, do you want to clap for us, please? Hello, my name is Tony Cribb. Uh, I am 38 years old and I'm an artist. When I was a kid, uh, I was a pretty good boy. I really enjoyed anything to do with the ball, whether it was uh, football, touch rugby. A lot of people go through life and they know what they want to do, and I was not one of them. I entered to get into a, uh, a visual communications degree. Um, I got in, I was like, oh, all right, I'll tag along and I'll go to this visual communications degree. It was suggested to me that I should try you know, doing some artworks and send one or two down to a gallery in Queenstown. So I sent four paintings down and they sold. That was kind of the start of the, the career. Tin Man, is a, he's a good friend of mine. I think I've done 750 or so of them now. I knew straight away that Tin Man brought me money and I needed money <laughs> to survive. Tin Man came to life in 2001 in a one-off painting called F Off Tin Man. He has become a friend to many. He gives us hope that uh, love will conquer all, that the push of a big red button might fix the world, and that laughter really is the best medicine, followed by chocolate and then medicine. Most importantly, he has taught us that should we ever lose hope, then a good place to look is under the bed. Tin Man is simple, which in a busy and complicated world must be a good thing. Here we are at uh, Lestrange Gallery in Sumner, Christchurch, and uh, I've been with this gallery for well over a decade. Brian here the, uh, is the gallery owner and he has been a fantastic owner to, uh, to work with. Half of me is, is Tin Man paintings and half of me is, um, is non Tin Man paintings, which I call other, which is not very original. They're approachable works, but they've got depth, so they appeal to a lot of people. We've had lots of lots of solo shows for Tony. Everybody really, you know, turning out in full force. Sometimes um, even down the road, you know, very quirky gestural sort of works right through to very serious aspects, and so that really does, you know, there's a lot of a lot of viewers that appreciate all those parts of Tony. Um, but there's a tenderness, a happiness, you know, it just goes on and on, really. So this is my family. First I bumped into Pippa. Hello Pip. Hello. And then we bumped into Jimmy. Hi Jimmy. Hi, how you doing? And then we bumped again, and this time Gus popped out. Hi Gus. Hello. And then there was Wilma, she's a good girl. And then there was Fozzy. When I went to see his studio, I think I was expecting more landscapes and that kind of thing. But when I saw it, I, I love it. I love that there's um, so much colour and um, hidden meaning and um, so much of his personality in the art. I had been through some, some tough times. Um, I've been through depression twice. To be able to work through those days, through the canvas, through the paints, uh, it got me to, well, I guess, establish myself. They weren't the most cheerful of paintings, but they, you know, they worked for me as, as an individual. So I was playing touch rugby one night for my team, Cartel, and um, in the first half of the game, I had a bit of a, um, I had a bit of a shocker. A couple of people just ran straight past me and I thought to myself, yeah, this, uh, that wasn't very clever of you, Cribby. Um, and in the second half of the game, things didn't get much better because I ended up spinning around and doing a 360 degrees and, um, and, and my eyes went back in my head and I ended up falling down and uh, having a seizure. He was on the ground and I thought he'd ruptured his Achilles or something because he was moving like he was in pain. So um, my initial thought was, oh, I'll get him some water. You know, and when I got over there, I realised that it was a bit more serious than that. And a lot of people gathered around and an ambulance got called and it took me off to hospital. Uh, 
I thought the, the best right from the start to try and stay positive. And it wasn't until we'd been in the um, ED for many hours. I had a quick scan of my brain and they found a, uh, a tumour. So um, yeah, it was, it was interesting times. I always remember feeling this cold feeling through my body and then thinking the worst. The tumour had attached itself to my skull. It was about the size of my fist, so it was a big one. So they had to take a, a chunk of my, um, my skull out as well. The tumour that I had was a benign one, uh, so benign being non-cancerous, so we were incredibly lucky. What happened was they put a piece of titanium in my head. The Tin Man guy is actually the, the Titanian Man guy, so it's all, it's all a, a bit of a laugh, really. And quite often it's recessed slightly so it's a nice smooth surface. There's a few extra wee holes for the scalp to be sewn onto the plate. The workshop team here, the neurosurgeons and all the surg surgical guys and girls, um, they just an amazing team. Oh, would you be dead without their involvement? Yep. Yep, there you go, that's fairly <laughs> fundamental. <laughs> I think Tony's attitude has really um, played a huge part in his recovery. He kind of just gets on with it. He doesn't dwell on anything, and that just means that we follow suit and we get on with it too. One of the things that was really um, important was that Tony didn't lose his personality. His injury hasn't taken that away, and so I think everyone expected him to start painting weird, different things to what he used to, but um, it's flowed on pretty much the same as what it was before. A yellow balloon of hope can bring such hope and joy to many, yet it too can be fragile and fleeting if it's not looked after. What will be will be, and if things turn out a certain way, uh, you, you kind of deal with it. The most important things in my life right now are family. It does feel like we've grown closer uh, over the years. I really enjoy a good game of backyard cricket um, as well, so they're probably uh, the two most important things that are up there for me. The last thing I do want to achieve in this world is uh, I wish to abolish naughty people and sunburn. <laughs>